So starting in child's pose, come all the way down under your hands and knees, bring your big toes to touch. Open those knee wa knees wide, give a little shimmy through the hips side to side, a little push into the hands. Let yourself trickle onto your mat, little by little, landing body part at a time. Elbows, knees, shins, feet, head. Drop into your weight. Let the bones be heavy. Close the eyes if they're not already closed. And see if you can begin to breathe three-dimensionally. Can you imagine that there's a really long umbrella in the middle of your body? The top of that umbrella is towards your head and the handle is towards your seat. And as you breathe in, that umbrella opens three-dimensionally, front, back, side, side. And as you exhale, let that umbrella soften to a close. Finding that ebb and flow of your inhales as you open the umbrella and expand. And your exhales as you soften. Today I'd like to share with you a little quote that might offer you a new perspective or a little energetic shift. James Clear says, move toward the next thing, not away from the last thing. Same direction, different energy. If you're moving away from something, you're still giving that thing power. You're making it a pin drop on your map. It holds weight and you determine your progress by how far you have moved away from it. Instead, can you remove the pin, drop the weight, make your destination something that pulls you towards it. So your measurement of progress becomes how close to and how focused on the next thing you are regardless of where you left your past. Move toward the next thing, not away from the last thing. Same direction, different energy. James Clear. Take another full breath in. And one more big breath out. Start to crawl your fingers forward, get longer through the arms, spread the fingers wide, tuck the chin, and as you inhale, roll through your spine, roll all the way into a modified up dog. Knees can stay on the floor. Draw your hip bones towards your wrist. Pull your heart through your arms. And as you push into your hands, draw your shoulders back, lift the chest, lift the gaze. Take a breath in here. Exhale, gaze over your left shoulder. Maybe that right hip dips towards the floor. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, gaze over your right shoulder. Maybe left hip dips. Let's do that one more time each side. Inhale, center. Exhale, look left. Inhale, center. Exhale, look right. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, lead with your tailbone. Roll yourself back into child's pose. Taking a big arm circle, starting with the right, right arm. I want you to sweep your arm down along the mat towards the back of your mat, and then swim that right arm forward. Let's do the same thing on the left. No rush. Take your time. Swim that left arm along the mat towards the back of your mat, and then up and around. One more time, right and left, reach back, up and around. Left side, reach back, up and around. Walk your fingers towards your knees and then keep walking your hands all the way back behind you, coming onto your fingertips. Roll your shoulders back, open through the chest, tuck the tailbone as you lift the hips away from the heels. You can keep your gaze forward or you can drop your head. Take a full breath in. Exhale, slowly lower down. 
Hips to heels, hands forward. Tuck the toes, gently unfold yourself into your first downward dog. Move around a little bit here, check in with your body. See how the shape feels on your body today, what's going on in the legs, the neck, the head, the shoulders, the breath. The mind, if your mind's really chatty, you might shake your head, yes and no. Let those hot thoughts loosen up a little bit. And then here in your down dog, inhale, rise to the toes. Exhale, pivot your heels to the right and send them towards the floor. Edges of the feet are parallel with the back edge of your mat. Press into your hands, keep your hips lifting, take a big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, back through center, rise high on the toes. Exhale, pivot the heels to the left and lower them. Outer or edges of the feet are parallel with the back edge of your mat. Push into your hands to lift the hips. Take another breath in. And a big breath out. Inhale, back through center, rise high on those toes. Exhale, reach your heels down and back. Keep that energy out the heels. Inhale, roll forward to plank. Stack shoulders over wrists, spread the fingers. Can you spin your inner elbows forward slightly? Create a little more space through the shoulders. Think of puffing the backs of your knees up to the ceiling as you draw your belly in and up. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath, in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. Melt your left heel to the floor. Exhale, step your right foot all the way to the outside of your right hand. Land your left knee. Sink your hips down and forward. We're going to take an arm circle of it again, this time reaching that right arm forward and around. As you inhale, start to reach that right arm forward and up. As you exhale, finish that circle, bring your right hand to your right thigh. Press into that right hand. We circle the left arm. Inhale, reach that left arm forward, up and around. And exhale, release both hands back inside that right leg. Tuck the back toes, lift the back heel. Before we step to plank, just take a couple rocks forwards and backwards through the hips. And then press into the hands. Inhale, right leg steps to plank. Exhale, lower all the way to the floor. Untuck the toes, roll the shoulders back. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, release. One more time, inhale, lift baby cobra. This time, tuck the toes, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg to the sky. Exhale, step your left foot all the way to the outside of your left hand. Drop that back knee. Let the hips move down and forward. We'll start with that left arm circling forward and around. As you inhale, reach that left arm forward and up. As you exhale, finish that circle, bring your left hand to your left thigh. Press into that hand. Inhale, right arm circles forward and up. Exhale, let that arm circle around. Refine the floor, both hands inside left foot. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee before we step to plank. Just take a couple rocks here through the hips, through that back ankle and toes. Press into your hands, inhale, step to plank. Exhale, lower to the floor. Untuck the toes, roll the shoulders back, inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, release. One more, inhale, lift, baby cobra. Tuck the toes, exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal out the legs. Use that pedaling to find your way to the top of your mat. Small little steps. Once you arrive, open your feet hip-width apart, soften the knees, catch hold of opposite elbows. Give a little pull on the elbows, get longer through the side waist and triceps. Really let the head drop towards the floor. 
Press down into the feet. Let that energy rebound up through the backs of the legs and out the hips. We're here for a few breaths. If your body is calling you to take some movement, go for it. If it feels good to stay still, stay still. And just find your breath here for five, four, three, two, one. Gently release the arms. Heavy head and shoulders, soft knees to roll yourself all the way up to stand. Once you arrive, take a couple shoulder rolls back. Step your feet together at the top of your mat. Big toes touch, hands to heart center. Soften or close your eyes. And come back to that intention, that energetic shift of moving towards something instead of away from something else. Bow your forehead to your heart. Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, sweep the arms around and up, lift the heart, seal the palms. Today, exhale, hands behind you, interlace your fingers. Inhale, chest expansion, knuckles down, heart high. Exhale, forward fold with chest expansion. Soften your knees as much as you need. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, get wider across the chest. Work your forehead closer to your shin. Take a big breath in. Exhale, release the arms. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, step or jump. Chaturanga still warming up. Take your time. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog for three slow breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath in and out. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend the knees, step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms around and up, lift the heart, seal the palms. Exhale, hands behind you. Interlace your fingers, maybe with the opposite finger on top. Inhale, chest expansion, knuckles down, heart high. Exhale, forward fold with chest expansion. Again, knees can soften. Work that width across the chest by engaging the back muscles. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Press down into the feet to lift the hips as you reach the head closer to your shins. Arms further overhead. Take one more breath in. Exhale, release. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Imagine you could rotate your hands away from each other, creating a little space in the shoulders, the neck, the head. Take one more breath in. And out. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend the knees, step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms around and up. Lift the heart, press the palms. Last time, exhale, hands behind you. Interlace those fingers. Inhale, chest expansion. Exhale, forward fold with chest expansion. Keeping the heart open as you fold deeply. Take one more breath in. Exhale, release. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath in. And out. 
Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend the knees. Step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms around and up, palms press. This time, exhale, hands to heart. And take a breath. Reconnect, feel your feet on the earth, your palms pressing against each other in front of your heart. Notice the rise and fall of your chest as you breathe. Surya Namaskar B. Inhale, sit low, Utkatasana. Draw your hips down and back, scoop the tailbone forward. Find a little more lift through the heart and arms as you breathe in. Exhale, chair with airplane arms and rise on the toes. So as the arms sweep behind you, lift the heels. Inhale, Utkatasana, heels lower, arms reach up, two more like that. Exhale, chair with airplane arms, sweep up onto the toes. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, chair with airplane arms, rise to toes. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your right leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose as you shift forward to plank. Inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Press down into the feet. Inhale, rise, high lunge. Exhale, baby back move with cactus arms. Draw the elbows down, lift the heart. Stay for a breath in. Stay for a breath out. Inhale, re-extend, arms overhead. Exhale, open out, warrior two. Right palm to the ceiling. Inhale, big stretch back, reverse triangle. Give that right leg a lengthen, that entire right side a stretch. Take one more breath in. Exhale, triangle. Hip shift back, right hand finds right shin, left arm to the ceiling. Draw your outer right hip back. Think of spinning that inner right thigh forward as you spin your right ribs around and up. Stay for a breath in. Stay for a breath out. Press into your feet. Inhale, reverse warrior. Start by bending that front knee. Take a big stretch back and let's half wrap that back arm. So you can wrap that left arm behind you, maybe left finger spine, right thigh. If so, can you press that right thigh down and forward? Take another breath in. Exhale, half bound extended side angle. Option for forearm to thigh, or maybe fingers inside that right foot. Wherever you are, press that right knee open wide. Roll that left shoulder back. Power more through that back leg. Really extend long through that back leg. Option to stay here. It's still early. If you'd like to take a full bind though, that right arm can dip down and through. Continue to roll that shoulder back, top shoulder back as you breathe in and out. Keep the bind, whether it's half or full, half or full bound triangle. Press down into the feet, see if we can stretch that right leg straight any amount. Keep rolling that top shoulder back. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, pyramid hands to the floor. Spin those left toes forward, hop that left foot in a little. Take a breath in to lengthen the spine. And on an exhale, fold. Let your belly fold into that thigh, forehead into that shin. Stay for a breath in. Stay for a breath out. Listen closely. Find your hands on the floor. Give a little push into the hands. Sweep that right leg back and up. Walk your hands towards your left toes. Standing splits. Right leg is lifted. Left foot is on the floor. Big breath in. Exhale, Shiva squat. Bend your knees. Tuck right leg behind left. Work your head towards your front knee. Inhale, standing split, stretch that right leg back up. Exhale, Shiva squat. One more, inhale, standing split. 
Exhale, Shiva squat, stay there. Can you bring your hands to your heart center and balance for three, two, one. Inhale, one-legged mountain, draw that right knee forward and up, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, Garudasana. Left knee bends, right leg wraps over, right arm wraps under, squeeze the legs together, sit low. Squeeze the arms together, lift them up. Stay for a breath in. Stay for a breath out. Inhale, one-legged mountain, right knee lifts, arms reach overhead. As you exhale, step to the top of your mat. Tadasana, feet together, hands to heart center. Take a moment. We'll flow through all of that on the left. Inhale, sit low, Utkatasana. Exhale, chair with airplane arms, float the heels. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, chair with airplane arms, flow with the heels. One more, inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, chair with airplane arms, heels lift. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg to the sky. Exhale, shift forward, knee to nose, round your spine. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Press down to rise, inhale, high lunge. Exhale, baby back bend with cactus arms. Elbows draw down, heart lifts. Stay for a breath in. Stay for a breath out. Inhale, re-extend, arms overhead. Exhale, open out, warrior two. Left palm to the ceiling. Inhale, big stretch back through that left side for reverse triangle. Left leg lengthens, left side stretches, stay for a breath in. Exhale, triangle. Hip shift back, left hand finds left shin. Draw your outer left hip back. Spin that inner left thigh forward as you spin your left ribs around and up. Press down and out through the feet, get longer through the spine. One more breath in and out. Keep pressing through the feet. We're gonna start by bending that front knee, inhale, reverse warrior. Front knee bends, left arm reaches up and back, half wrap that right arm behind you. Maybe right hand finds that left thigh, if so, give it a push down and forward. Big inhale, exhale, half bound, side angle, forearm to thigh or fingers to the floor. Keeping that half bind, roll that top shoulder back, push that bottom knee open, spin your heart to the ceiling, empower through that back leg, strong back leg. Option to stay here, or if you're ready for a full bind, you could add that full bind. Keep that top shoulder rolling back, one more breath in and out, either half or full bind, try and keep it. Maybe stretch that front leg straight for a half or full bound triangle pose. One big inhale, nice. Exhale, pyramid, hands find the floor. Spin on those back toes to square off and hop those back toes in. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Big exhale to soften over your left leg. Belly to thigh, forehead to shin. Stay for a breath in. Stay for a breath out. Finding your hands, push into the hands. Inhale, slide that left leg back and up. Walk your hands towards those right toes, standing splits. Take a full breath in. Exhale, Shiva squat, bend the knees, tuck and curl into a tight ball. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, Shiva squat. One more like that. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, Shiva squat. Stay in that Shiva squat. Maybe hands come to heart center to balance for three, two, one. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Left knee draws forward and up. Arms reach overhead. Exhale, Garudasana. Left leg wraps over. Left arm wraps under. Squeeze the thighs together, sit low. Squeeze the arms together, lift them up. 
Stay for a breath in. Stay for a breath out. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Left knee lifts, arms reach up. Exhale, Tadasana, big step forward. Feet together, hands to heart. Take a breath. I'm going to smooth that out one more time, right and left. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, chair with airplane arms, lift the heels. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, chair with airplane arms, lift the heels. Inhale, Utkatasana. Last time, exhale, chair with airplane arms, heels lift. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or jump. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, baby back bend with cactus arms. Inhale, re-extend, arms overhead. Exhale, warrior two. Right palm to the ceiling. Inhale, reverse triangle, stretch that right side. Exhale, triangle, hip shift back. Inhale, reverse warrior, front knee bends. Reach up and back, add that half bind with your back arm. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, your version of either half or maybe full or maybe modified extended side angle. Roll your top shoulder back, press down and out through the feet. Take a breath in and out. Can you keep that bind? Maybe start to stretch that right leg straight for half or full bound triangle. Take another breath in. Exhale, pyramid, release the hands. Spin those back toes in, hop that back foot in. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold your torso over your thigh. Take another breath in and out. Press into your hands, inhale, right leg slides up and back. Walk your fingers towards your left toes. Inhale in the standing split. Exhale, bend, Shiva squat. Two more, inhale, standing splits. Exhale, Shiva squat. Again, inhale, standing splits. Exhale, Shiva squat, stay there. Hands to heart, balance for three, two, one. Inhale, one-legged mountain, right knee lifts, arms overhead. Exhale, Garudasana. Right leg over, right arm under. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Inhale, one-legged mountain, right knee lifts, arms overhead. Exhale, Tadasana, big step forward, toes together. Hands to heart center. Last time, inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, chair with airplane arms, lift the heels. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, chair with airplane arms, lift the heels. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, chair with airplane arms, lift the heels. This time, inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or jump. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, baby back bend with cactus arms. Inhale, re-extend, arms overhead. Exhale, warrior two. Left palm to the ceiling, inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, triangle. Inhale, reverse warrior, bend that front knee, reach up and back, add that half wrap. Right arm wraps behind you, take a breath in. Exhale, any version of extended side angle. Maybe keep that half bind, maybe full bind, maybe you modify. Keep that top shoulder rolling back, take a breath in. And out. 
Can you keep that heifer full bind as you stretch that left leg? Big breath in. Exhale, pyramid. Hands to the floor. Pivot those right toes forward. Hop that right foot in. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, full. Big breath in. Big breath out. Press into the hands. Inhale, sweep that left leg up and back. Walk your fingers towards your right toes. Inhale in the standing splits. Exhale, Shiva squat. Bend the knees. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, Shiva squat. One more. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, Shiva squat. Stay there. Hands to heart. Find your balance. Three. Two, one, inhale, one-legged mountain, left knee lifts, arms overhead. Exhale, Garudasana, left leg over, left arm under. Stay for a breath in, stay for a breath out. Inhale, one-legged mountain, left knee lifts, reach up. Exhale, Tadasana, big step forward, hands to heart center. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Heel toe your feet, hip width apart. Bring your hands to your hips. Roll the shoulders back, draw the elbows in. As you inhale, lift your heart. See if you can use your thumbs or your hands to guide your tailbone down as your heart lifts. As you exhale, send your tailbone back, heart forward. Fold over your legs. Reach down for your big toes and yoga kola. Padangustasana, inhale, pull your chest forward. Exhale, pull yourself over your thighs. You might roll your shoulders up your back as your elbows bend out to the sides. Press big toes into fingers, pull fingers into big toes. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath in. And out. Release your hands. Heel toe your feet, mat with the part. Or just go wider with those legs for a prayer squat. Bend the knees. Hands to heart center. Press the knees open wide with the elbows. Try and scoop the tailbone forward. Draw the shoulders back. And just breathe. If it feels good to move around a little bit, go for it. Getting into the joints, ankles, knees, hips. Option to stay right here. If you want to add a little chest expansion, left fingers reach down. Keep pressing that left knee open with your left arm. Reach your right arm up on a high diagonal. This might be where you stay. Maybe you half wrap that right arm behind you. Maybe you wrap that left arm around the front of your left shin for a full bind. If you want to go one step further, gaze to the floor, heel toe your feet closer together, shifting your weight to that right foot. You can either come up with the bind or you could come up and bring your left foot to your inner right thigh for tree pose. If you prefer to stay in that prayer squat, that's an option too. We're here for three. Two, one, we'll all meet back in our prayer squats. Same options, this might be it. Maybe you have that chest expansion, right fingers reach down and out, push that right knee wide open. Left arm reaches in a high diagonal, opening through the chest. You could half wrap that left arm behind you. You could fully wrap that right arm around. If you want to take it into that balance, gaze to the floor. Heel toe those feet closer together, shifting your weight to your left foot. You can either come up with the bind or if you want to come up for tree pose, right foot finds inner left thigh. If you prefer to hang out in that prayer squat, go for it. We're here for three, two, one. We'll all meet up in a prayer squat. Staying here for one more breath in and a full breath out. If 
fingers to the floor, drop the head, lift the hips. Take some easy sways, side to side. Use those sways to walk your feet in until they're hip width apart. Pada Hastasana. Lift the feet, slide the hands under the feet. Bringing your toes to your wrist creases. Give a little press into the wrist to help release the wrist. Inhale, pull your chest forward. Exhale, fold. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two, one more breath in, and out. Release the hands, heel toe the feet all the way to touch. I want you to rise high onto your toes, bend your knees out to the sides as you squat low. Coming into crow pose. From here, you're going to lift those knees as high up onto the backs of your arms as you can. Push into the floor, lift your belly up and lift everything else away from the floor as well. So the hands press down, everything else lifts away from the floor. Gaze is forward. Start to shift your weight towards your fingers. Maybe you lift one foot at a time. Maybe both feet lift. Wherever you are, breathe for three. We'll find Chaturanga in two, one, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale your right leg to the sky. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, shift forward to plank. Inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee, left elbow, and shoot that leg through for fallen triangle. Reach your left arm to the sky. Lift the hips, open the heart, stay for a breath in. Exhale, left hand to the floor, big transition. We're taking this all the way into wild thing. Take that left foot behind your right leg. Come onto the ball, of, uh, sorry, right foot behind your left leg. Press your hips towards the sky. Reach your right arm to the front of your space. Full breath in, full breath out. We're going back into that fallen triangle. Right hand finds the floor. Draw that right knee forward. Shoot that right leg through. Left arm reaches high. Big breath in. This time exhale, lower your hips to the floor. Turn your toes to the ceiling. We're in a wide-legged straddle here. Sit up tall as you breathe in. And on and exhale, fold. If you'd like to take your legs wider, you can. Keep your sit bones reaching back, heart reaching forward. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath in and out. Make your way up to sit. Fold that right leg in so that right foot is close to your inner left thigh. Bring your right fingers behind you as you start to roll to the inside of your left foot. Inhale, lift the hips, sweep your left arm around and open the heart. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, lower the hips. Bring your left hand to your right thigh. Inhale, right arm up. And exhale, side bend left. Can you turn your torso to the ceiling underneath that right arm? Full breath in. And full breath out. Inhale, back up to sit. Exhale, hands towards the top of your mat. Pivot onto your back toes, draw your right knee to your nose, and then step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Coming back into a lizard, lower your back knee to the floor. This time, untuck your back toes. We're gonna hang out here. You can stay on the hands, you can soften the elbows. Maybe you drop to the elbows. Relax the head and shoulders. Three breaths. Inhale. 
Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath in. And out. Make your way back up to your hands. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. Inhale, step to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg to the sky. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, shift forward. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left knee, right elbow, and then shoot that leg through for fall and triangle. Lift your right arms and your hips to the sky. Open through the heart. Take a breath in. Exhale, right hand to the floor. Turning this into wild thing, take that left leg, bring it all the way behind your right. On the ball of your left foot, press your hips to the sky. Reach that left arm to the front of your space. Full breath in. Full breath out. Coming back into fallen triangle. Left hand finds the floor. Left leg pulls forward and across and shoots through. Hips to the sky. Right arm to the sky. One more big breath in. This time exhale, lower your hips to the floor. Finding that wide legged straddle again. Toes and knees to the ceiling. Take a breath in. Exhale and fold. Sit bones back, heart forward. Soften the head and shoulders. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath in. And out. Make your way back up to set. Bend that left leg in. You're bringing that left foot towards your inner right thigh. Left hand comes behind you. As you start to roll to the inner edge of your right foot, inhale, lift the hips and circle that right arm around. Opening through the heart, one more breath in. Exhale, lower your hips to the floor. Grab that left leg with your right hand. Inhale, reach your left arm up to the sky. Exhale, side bend right. Turn your torso underneath that left arm. Take a full breath in and out. Inhale back up to sit. Exhale, hands towards the top of your mat. Pivot on those back toes, draw your left knee to your nose. And then step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Drop that right knee, untuck the toes, any version of lizard. Maybe on the hands, maybe soft elbows, maybe all the way to the elbows. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath in and out. Come back up to your hands. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. Inhale, step to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend the knees, step or jump, feet through the hands. Have a seat and bring the soles of your feet together. Knees open wide. Might take a couple flutters before we settle in. Roll out the neck, the head, the shoulders. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, full. Big breaths. I'm starting to slow down a little bit.
Make your way up to sit. Gather your legs together. Bring your hands behind you and let's cross right ankle over left thigh. You can walk your hands in closer to your tush, lift your chest, send your right knee away from you. Big breaths. Option to stay here for a few more rounds of breath. If you'd like to come into double pigeon, you can heel toe that left foot over and land right shin on top of left. Sitting up tall as you breathe in, exhale and fold. Make your way back up to sit. Wherever you are, gently release both feet back to the floor, hands behind you. And just take a couple sways side to side through the hips, knees, ankles. And as you're ready, we'll figure for that left ankle over your right thigh. Maybe you walk your hands towards your seat a little, lifting the chest, flexing that left foot. Big breaths. Again, if this feels good, stay here. If you want to go for that double pigeon, heel toe that right foot over, land left shin on top of right. Sit up tall, take a breath in, exhale and fold. Make your way up to sit. Bring both feet on the floor again, hands behind you for a little sway, side to side. As you come back to center, extend your legs out long, flex the feet, sit up tall, take a breath in, exhale and fold. Walk the sit bones back, reach the heart forward. Maybe you roll the head and shoulders around. Take what feels good, whatever lets go of stress and tension.
Make your way up to sit. Unroll all the way onto your back, setting up for a back bend of choice. Bend the knees, bring the feet on the floor. If you'd like to come into bridge pose, arms alongside your body. If you'd like to come into Urdhva Dhanurasana, hands by your ears, elbows in. Wherever you are, inhale to prepare. On an exhale, tuck the tailbone, lift the hips. If you're in bridge pose, you might interlace your fingers, tuck your shoulders underneath you. If you're in full wheel, try and stretch the arms and legs a little straighter. Wherever you are, can you puff your chest towards the wall behind you? Three breaths, inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath in. Exhale, slowly lower down. Take a gentle sway through the knees here, side to side, right and left. As the knees fall left, you might turn your head right. As the knees fall right, maybe turn the head left. And draw your knees into your chest, a little squeeze, maybe some Rock side to side here. And find a happy baby. Flex your feet to the ceiling. Give a nice pull on the outer edges of the feet with your hands to draw your knees closer to the floor. Can you press your feet and your hands to reach your lower back towards the floor? Tuck the chin just a little. Try and lengthen the back of the neck on the floor. So we're trying to ground the entire spine as we get into the hips, if you want to move around a little bit, go for it. Release and hug both knees back into the chest. Take both knees over to the left. Look to the right. Easy twist. Inhale back through center. Exhale, knees to the right, look left. Inhale back through center. Wrap your arms around your shins. Draw your head to your knees. Give everything a tight squeeze in. Stay there and squeeze for five, four, three, two, one. Release and set up for final rest. Shavasana, extend the legs long. Arms alongside your body. If it feels good to wiggle around a little before you drop in, go for it. And let's take one last big breath in through the nose and a big sigh out. Let go.
slowly start to deepen your breath. Wiggle your toes and your fingers, your ankles, your wrists. You might roll your head and hips side to side. If it feels good, stretch your arms over your head. Take a big stretch from toes to fingers if you're there. And everyone draw the knees towards your chest. Roll to the right. Take a moment here and pause. As you leave this practice behind, can you let that go? And instead of moving away from this practice, can you move towards what's next? So here now, as you gently rise to find a comfortable seated position, can you feel like you're moving towards something? Close the eyes, draw your hands to your heart. If you want to fly on the sky, you need to leave the earth. If you want to move forward, you need to let go of the past that drags you down. Amit Ray. The divine light in me bows to the divine light in you. Namaste.